Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on Wednesday night I put up a hair care haul video and I said that was kind of part one of two videos with today being part two, which is a hair care declutter. So I think my hair care collection, out of all of my kind of inventory, so across makeup, skincare, hair care and perfume, my hair care collection is the closest to being under control. It's not going to be completely where I want it to be by the end of this year, given it's November. But I do think by the end of 2024, I'm not going to be worried about hair care. At I mean, to be honest, I'm not worried about hair care at all as it is, because I feel like with the exception of one or two categories where I might need to focus a little bit, I feel like it's 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 going in the right direction and it's I feel safe about the fact that it's going in the right direction. So I'm not worried. But there are definitely just a couple of categories that I think I have had these products for so long I'm clearly not using them unless I'm putting them in some kind of project pan or whatever and sometimes I just don't have the will to do that I just want to say do you know what I'm not reaching for this it's not enriching my life it's time to say goodbye so that is what we're going to do today if this is your first ever video of mine then sorry that's probably quite a confusing intro um so hi, my name is Roisin, I'm really glad you clicked on this video. Roisin is the Irish version of Rose, which is why my channel name is Rose Keats, because that is easier to spell, easier to remember. And I used to have a little bit of a problem with over consuming and overspending on beauty items in particular. So I have been on various no buys and low buys over the past few years. And what I do now to monitor my beauty collection is I keep spreadsheets. So I have inventories for all my different categories. I track what comes in, I track what I use up and I track what I declutter. I set goals for where I want things to be. And yeah, that's that's generally what I tend to make content about is about trying to enjoy beauty and fashion and all those fun things without overspending on them, without always buying new and with an emphasis on trying never to get an out of control collection ever again. So yeah, if that sounds good, I'd love you to subscribe. But that aside, let's get into today's hair care declutter. So we will go through this by category and we'll start off with the pre-shampoo products. So I have two of these. One of them is this Sizzly one. I have used a lot of this. I think I've only got one or two uses left. So I definitely will get this finished this year. And as for the Olaplex, if you guys can see that there, it's like right down here. So again, I think I will get this finished this year, no problem. I tend to try and keep my Olaplex and then before I go on like holiday or before, if I've got an event or something, I'll do like a full routine with the Zero and the number three mask and the shampoo and conditioner and whatever. Um, so I definitely, I think these will both be finished by the end of this year, so I'm not going to bother decluttering either of them. Um, and I'll probably, I, I haven't actually looked this year, but if they have an Olaplex set, I tend to put that on my Christmas list. Um, so I probably would ask for this again to be replaced. This one I'm not quite as bothered about, but if you want a really deep clean, this is almost like, it's kind of like a clay, it sort of really sucks up. It's like a clay mask for your head, basically. Um, that you use ahead of shampooing, uh, whereas this is more about strengthening. So I'm not as fussed about this one, but I probably would ask for this one again. For now, I'm going to keep both, but I expect both to be used by the end of 2023. On to shampoo, I have eight shampoos. So this is one of my bigger categories. However, as you can see from looking at it, these four here are travel sized. I've only got two kind of full sized ones at the back there. And the way that I've split this out is these two at the front, as you can see, have both had significant usage. So these two I expect to be finished by the end of 2023, so there is no point declustering either of them. Then in terms of these six at the back here, if you watched Wednesday's video, you saw me saying I was going to use this to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm going to definitely expect that to be done again by the end of 2023. So that one I think will also be done which really means that I've got five there that I don't expect to be finished this year. However, given two of them are full size and three of them are travel sized or trial sized or whatever, I'm not going to bother declustering them. I think I could get good use of all of them next year and I feel like I could be ending next year with only one shampoo left in my inventory, which is where I'd like to be. So I'm not threatened by the amount that I've got left here. I don't think there's much point in decluttering any of them. Um, so no declutters on my shampoos. On to conditioners, so I have five. If you can see here, this Kiehl's one, 
I've used a lot of. I don't know if I'll really be finished this by the end of 2023, but I'll definitely be finished it early next year. It's a way down here at this point. The Olaplex also has quite significant usage, as I do expect to be doing a full Olaplex routine, as I said, ahead of like nights out and going on holiday and whatever. I, I think this will be done by the end of 2023. So I'm not decluttering either of those two because they can definitely get finished. Um, and that just leaves me with three. So these two here match with corresponding shampoos that I've kept. So the Melanin Gats is the only one that's kind of left that's a bit random. I think what I'll do though is I'll just put this one into the shower and when I'm not doing the Olaplex full routine, I will use this one just to get it used up because it's so small so I could definitely use that by the end of 2023. So these two are the ones that I would like to finish this year. This one I think will be finished early next year and then that leaves me with two to finish through the rest of 2024. So Again, I don't think any of this is problematic or intimidating, so I'm not going to declutter any of these. On to hair masks, I have got eight. Now I will say these first few categories are more about like washing and treating. I don't think this is where the declutters are going to be. In terms of these eight, um, I would definitely keep this one. This is the IGK Anti-Social Mask, so that's actually a dry mask that you use at night. So I would definitely keep that one because I feel like it's nice to have something that's kind of treatment without having to wet your hair. Then I've got two of the Olaplex number threes, but as you can see, this one is so nearly done. This one is new, but this one is definitely so nearly done and will definitely be done by the end of 2023. This is the Philip Kingsley swim mask that I talked about in my haul video. So that's a bit specific, but I do think I'll use it when I'm on holiday or whatever next year. So I'm keeping that one. This one is so nearly done, the Olaplex number eight. I definitely think I'll be finished that by the end of 2023. These two I think will be finished. The Amika one I've not tried yet, so I'm gonna keep it and give it a go. The Beauty Pie sort of equivalent of the Olaplex number three. And I don't know if you can tell, but again, this is so nearly done so I think there's maybe like one or two uses of that left. I expect all three of these could be finished by the end of this year. Then I've got the living proof one and that's a little travel size that hardly even seems worth decluttering. So yeah this one is a little bit different to the others so I take it differently. These three are all nearly done so I don't think there's any point in considering decluttering them which leaves me these four and I feel like really what's left there is like a strengthening like a genetic strengthening mask a specific sort of swimming mask, a nourishing mask. It says weightless mask, but I presume it's kind of a sort of nourishing one. So I feel like those two are the only two there that are kind of maybe interchangeable, but the textures might be different and that's 100 mils and that's 30 mils. So I feel like they could both be finished next year without any real issue if I like them both once I start using them. So no declutters on my hair masks. For colour products, I've only got one. I'm definitely keeping this. So this is my Davines Copper Mask. So this is quite a lot is used anyway. So I've not got many uses of this left, but this is just really good if you have hair colour similar to mine and it's kind of phasing or whatever, this just brings it back up. So I only have one in stock and if I finish this up, I would definitely just repurchase it. This is pretty much a constant in my collection. So definitely not decluttering it. Now on to kind of blow drying and styling categories. And I think this is where we can start weeding some things out. I have five heat protectors, definitely not decluttering this one, dry bar hot toddy, and this is for use on dry hair. So I love having this in stock for if I'm curling my hair or whatever. The other ones are all designed to be used on wet hair before you blow dry it. So that's something a little bit different, which kind of, although it's in this category, it sort of stands on its own. So that's definitely staying and that's the sort of thing again, that is a repurchase and I will continue to repurchase that item. So I've now got four heat protecting products. This one, I don't know if you guys, oh yeah, you can kind of see. There's quite a lot out of this and I feel like I could definitely finish this at some point. Not like this year or anything, but I definitely could see me finishing this. I've finished it before. This was a repurchase. I would definitely buy it again. I really like that. These three, I feel like I'd probably rather have a spray in than a cream. I've talked about this before because I ended up putting one of my heat protectors in my project pan this year and the reason I hadn't been reaching for it was because it was more of a balm that, like this that you had to squeeze into your hands and distribute through your hair rather than something you could spray on. However, on the flip side, this is a 60ml product so I feel like I could probably finish this. It would probably need to go in a project pan or something for me to finish it but I feel like I could possibly finish it. I feel like I'd be as well keeping that and finishing it 
because I could weigh that as well so it could be useful in a project pan. Whereas these two, although they're sprays, they are both pretty old in my collection and neither of them are see-through. However, having said that, I could obviously always decant it into a smaller package if I wanted to project pan them. Do you know what? Clearly the fact that this one is missing product, that is the one that I'm using. That is the one for wet hair, that is the one for dry hair. And I'm actually just going to declutter all three of these. So these three can all go because I will repurchase that one when I finish it. But it's probably, I'm not going to finish it super quickly or anything. So yeah, those two can stay and these three are going to go. On to detangle sprays. Because I've got fine hair, I feel like it gets weighed down really easily. So I don't like to use too much in the way of products. So I feel like I never finish these kinds of products. However, looking at them, this Kristen S one... Because it is see-through, I feel like if I ever felt like I really needed to get it out of my collection, this could go in a project pan and it would be interesting because you can actually see through the packaging. Whereas these two are from Davines and they're, they're both more expensive than this. Um, but completely opaque packaging, so I feel like I never know if I'm done with these or not. I've had this one in particular for absolutely ages and it still feels really full. So I think if I'm keeping this this does so that it's a 10 stuff here if you can read that add shine detangles control frizz but it also is a flat iron spray and thermal protector so this is heat protecting whilst also detangling and doing what these ones do so i feel like i'm not going to use that and then also use any of these do you know what i think all three of them can go i think we're just going to say goodbye to this category and i will just continue to purchase this in the future which does the job of these but also does the heat protecting because I always want to minimise what I am putting into my hair so that it doesn't get weighed down so this is clearly the winner and these three can go. On to hair oil, now I have three of these. This one if you're watching this year's project pan you will be familiar with so I've been working on this one all year, it is nearly done, I feel like this will be out early in 2024. This one was actually in my 12 pans of Christmas project pan last year for 2022 so again fair amount out of that one so i think those two will be out within the first half of 2024 which will just leave me with the one so i'm quite happy with that i'm not going to bother decluttering any of them because these two are so close to being used that it just seems a waste of time so those two will leave by july 2024 at latest i would have said which will just leave me with one which is where i would like that category to be and I feel like that's achievable without needing to declutter anything here. On to hair serums and treatments. Again, I don't tend to reach for these very much, mainly because if I've used, say, like, oil plus a detangling spray or a, or a heat protecting spray, and then if I'm putting some kind of volume product in as well, I feel like that's a lot of product in my hair before I add in a serum as well. So I don't tend to reach for these. Definitely some of these could go. So to go through them, I've got the Olaplex number 9, so it says this is a bond protecting nourishing hair serum. Then I've got the Davines Minu, which is an illuminating one for coloured hair. The Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum, which smooths and conditions. The Pantene Hair Strengthening Tonic. And then the Red Cane Extreme Anti-Snap, which is again kind of similar to this sort of strengthening etc. Do you know what, I don't need anything that illuminates my hair, so this one can definitely go. I'm generally always trying to look for volume and whatever, so I don't think I really need a smoothing serum. And I feel like I can get frizz protection from other things. I don't need a serum just to do that one job. So that can go. I, I may as well keep this one, I think, because it's a travel size. I feel like I could use that up fairly quickly and get the total towards my empties. So I'm going to keep that one. And then these two, both kind of strengthening and whatever. So I feel like... I'm not going to keep both, but I did really like the Red Cane Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner. I finished them up earlier this year, so I'm going to keep the treatment from that and try and use that up. Could be a contender for next year's project pan. So I'm going to keep these two, the Red Cane and the Olaplex, and I'm going to declutter the Davines, the Paul Mitchell and the Pantene. On to blow dry bams. I have 11 of these, but do you know the thing? They're so I have one full size. I have one R & Co full size blow dry balm and I bought that and I wanted that and I feel like I'm waiting to use that once I finish these 
all these little travel sizes and trial sizes. Now I have put these ones on this side because they're either for putting into weight here or some of them you can also, in fact, let me split them out further. Okay, so I split this out further. These three can be used on dry hair as like styling aids as well as in wet hair as blow dry aids. These four are better just being kept to wet hair only. That one's my full size one and then these three are actually, so we'll take that out the, out the frame. These three are air dry creams, so I've got two of the Jonathan Van Ness air dry cream and one of the Red Ken air dry creams. So I feel like although this seems like a really big category, and it is a really big category, and it's definitely one that I want to get down a little bit, I feel like actually individually there's sort of different categories within this. And I feel like because a lot of them are small, if I just commit to this next year and put them in my project pans and make the effort to use them, I feel like I could finish these by using them rather than decluttering them. Although there's a lot in the category and it kind of does feel a little bit overwhelming looking at it, I feel like ultimately it could be used. Like I don't feel so intimidated by this that I think there's just no point. I feel like I could work through these. So I think I'm going to actually just keep them all which seems a bit ridiculous when this is like my biggest category. I'm going to keep them all, but I definitely need to make an effort with these next year. There needs to be one of this type of product in any project pan that I am doing. I need to be working through them. I'm obviously not working through them organically. This one was in my 12 pans of Christmas last year and it's so nearly done. So I'm actually hoping this one I might just manage to get out in 2023, which would leave me... 10 to go into 2024 with, which is not a significant reduction, but 10 feels more manageable than 11. So yeah, hopefully 10 to go forward with, finish this one this year, and then I will try and knock out, even if I knocked out like one from each of these categories next year, I think I'd be happy with that. So yeah, keeping them all, but I do need to make an effort with them next year. So if you see me doing project pans and there's not one of these in there, I need you to tell me off. So I'm charging you guys with the with the responsibility of this too. We need this category down. I have one volumizing blow dry spray, which I am definitely keeping. On to mousse. Now I have three. I don't work through this. It, it's not something I'm reaching for a lot. It's just something that I go for every so often. So I feel like having three is a bit of a waste. And I really like the the Davines smell and the Davines packaging so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to declutter these two. On to the dry hair products. So the first category in dry hair is dry shampoo and dry conditioner. So I have one dry conditioner, this one from Dry Bar. So I'm definitely going to keep that. That leaves me with three dry shampoo products. Um, so this one, the Olaplex, I have been using this for most of this year. It's nearly done if it does not get finished within this year, it'll be finished early next year. So there's no point decluttering that one, which leaves me with these two. But I think this one will be out early enough in 2024 that I think I'll be able to finish both of these next year as well. I don't think I'll be dragging these all through to the end of the year or anything like that. I'm not mad on these Sam McKnight ones because they have quite a floral smell. Um, but I will probably, if I was going to declutter anything, it would probably be them. But... I think I can use them up. I've used about half of them, so there's only 10 left. I think I can power through it for the sake of getting the this credit for it into my empties. So yeah, I'm going to keep all four of these. Texture Spray has its own category on my inventory because it used to be a very specific styling product that I had lots of. Um, but I'm actually down to only having one and I am perfectly happy with one. So definitely keeping that one. On to hairspray. I have four of these. These three here, the Aveda, the Got To Be and the Lnet, uh, they were all brought in quite recently. The Lnet I actually think will be out by the end of 2023. This is the one that I was left with before I had brought these in. Now this is actually broken. The pump on it doesn't work. So there it is out of the packaging. So when you spray this nothing happens and it's not that it's like locked or anything. It just, it's broken because it's been in my collection for ages. Now I was considering actually putting this into a different bottle and just trying to use it up but the other thing is that Philip Kingsley products have an expiry date and this apparently expired in the fourth month of 2016. 
So that's how long I've had this in my collection, is that I must have got this in what, 2014? Say, I mean, does it say? It's not, I can't see that it's got, you know how sometimes they've got the little tub and it will tell you like, like the months? Like this one has here. This is telling me this one is good for 24 months. So I can't see the equivalent on this, but if we say that hairspray is 24 months and this has an expiry on it here, of the fourth month of 2016. I presumably got this in like 2014, which is insane. I don't know why I still own this. So yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna declutter that, I think is the way forward here. I will just have those three. They've all come into my collection in 2023, so none of them are worryingly old. This one, as I say, is so nearly done. I think that'll be done before the end of the year. And then I will have two for going into next year with. So I'm feeling okay with that. I think that's a good place to be. My last category here I've called miscellaneous styling. Um, I feel like actually maybe now that I'm down to one texture spray I could just have one styling category but might redo that for 2024. But yeah, so I've got 10 products here. It is a kind of catch-all category. Now the Aveda stuff I just got for my birthday so I talked about that in my haul video last week. So I'm definitely keeping all four of those products. That leaves this stuff here. I have got, first of all, this is a hair perfume. And do you know what? I really like the idea of this. And I think if I had a hair perfume that matched, you know, I know like Chanel do some for some of their perfumes and whatever. And I think if I had a hair perfume that matched an actual perfume I was wearing, I would use it. But I never really want to put this on in case it clashes with my actual perfume, if that makes sense. So, I think I'm just going to declutter that. Preen cream. I got this around the same time as I got that Philip Kingsley hairspray. So the expiry on this is actually February 2016. So I think we're going to declutter that one. Which leaves this. Now these are different sort of glitter options. I've got this Dry Bar Too Faced um, glitter spray. So this is quite subtle. And then I've got these. So these are like, as you can see, sort of almost like if you were going to a festival or something. Proper like chunky glittery particles and the idea is you would put some of the hair glitter in place and then you would use this fixing spray to keep it there. But I'm going to be honest I have had this. Lauren and I got these um, well I think Lauren got them and actually just was sensible enough to know straight away she would never use them and gave them to me um, when we went to this event thing pre-Covid. So like 20 18 or 19 I can't quite remember in fact 2018 I do remember I remember what job I was doing when I went to to that event so it was 20 Christmas 2018 we went to an event and Lauren got these and gave them to me because I thought I might use them and I have not yet used them they are now five years old basically and I have never used them so I think we can safely declutter them whereas this I do use occasionally like only in certain you know, like at Christmas or whatever when I want to have glitter in my hair, but it's a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to keep that and these ones can get decluttered. So I have just run the numbers through my spreadsheet and today's declutter has been a declutter of 17 items worth $297.22. My opening total inventory was worth $1,298.63. Taking off $297.17 has left me with an inventory worth $1,001.46. Now I am hoping for some November empties, so I am actually hoping that once I get my empties at the end of this month, and I don't foresee any additions to my hair care coming in this month, that we will have got that down to being under a thousand dollars which I am just so so excited about. I opened at 74 items, we decluttered 17 and that leaves me with a new total of 57 items in my hair care inventory and again that's before any possible November empties so 57 items, really really pleased with that. I think by the end of November once the empties are in it'll be under a thousand dollars and I would actually love if it was under 50 items by the end of December. That would mean finishing eight things. Not sure if that's realistic or not, but I actually, do you know what? I think we can. I think I can totally do that. So that is really exciting. I'm really, really pleased with that. So that is everything for this video. I'm so excited with what we managed there and where that is leaving me. So fingers crossed for some good November empties to take it down even further and December empties as well really really pleased with that. I know this is like 
a really sort of strange thing to say but I feel like now with my hair care inventory in terms of where we are at following that declutter I feel so confident about it I feel so positive I feel like if I had to move house tomorrow I would be okay with the idea of packing up my hair care inventory whereas I feel like if I had to move house tomorrow and I had to go through all my makeup and be like what am I going to take like what am I going to leave that would still be such a big job for me to like really whittle it down that's what I keep trying to think about not because I'm moving anytime soon or anything like that but I keep thinking if I was to actually be packing my life up to move like how easily could I do that and the answer is of course right now not very easily at all but I feel like now my hair care inventory is at a place where if I was moving tomorrow I would be able to pack it up and I would feel totally chill about that so really really positive really really happy thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye